a lot of people sometimes eat just for the sake of eating or to stay alive. But for me, it's more than that, it's joy. And joy is the soul. It's like when you are very happy, you can cook delicious food. And when you are less happy, your food tastes less delicious. I'm Michael Rantisi, chef and owner of Keppel Street Kitchen and Keppel's Catering. When I arrived like 18 years ago, it started the boom of the whole new food culture. People embracing different food, different varieties of restaurants opening up. When we opened Keppel Street Kitchen 10 years ago, I had enough of fine dining. I had enough of working all these crazy hours that I did all my life. I wanted something very simple. I wanted food that related to me, that gave my story. And I designed the menu and I sent it to a couple of friends of mine. And the first questions that I got asked, what are you serving for people? And I said, yeah, we're gonna be serving falafel for breakfast. And the first reaction, my mom said, falafel for breakfast, really? Who's gonna be eating that in Australia? We wanted to create a place where exactly how I hosted people at home, I wanted to host them at the restaurant. A neighborhood place where people come to eat in the terrace house around the corner. I grew up in Tel Aviv, so the smell of food and memories of food was very distinct because my neighborhood was a mixed neighborhood. It had the Jewish families and the Muslim families and the Christian families. So for me, food is everything. One of my biggest influences is my family. Even from the other side of the world, we'll still kind of find the way to connect with each other. Every occasion that we had at home was surrounded with food. It was mom cooking, it was my grandma coming to help, it was the neighbors bringing some food or we sending food to the neighbors. Mom's favorite breakfast is, is one of those most beautiful, simple dishes. And then it is made with falafels, pickled cucumbers with beetroot, fresh radishes, a soft boiled egg, some toast, hummus with dukkha, and some labneh with olive oil. And that kind of represented those memories into one plate. For me, this is the closest that I can get to that kind of memory. There are some dishes as well that you have to keep them as close to heritage as possible without you taking their roots totally out. The mutabal dip, as simple as it is, it's still a very complex flavor to achieve. And it still has texture. It is not a mush. So you should still taste the, the bits and pieces of the eggplant, a little bit of, of the char, the graininess of the, the garlic, the, the lemon juice, and with that creaminess of the tahini, adding the pomegranate for a bit of sweetness and the olive oil for a little bit of grassiness and with the hot bread coming out of the wood fire oven. It, it is just magical. Me and Christy met by working together at the Bathers Pavilion. You know, he was a very lovely person who was working there. And it was on his last day that he comes up to the office and Michael then says, we should go out for a drink sometime. So what was like a chance then encounter, we've been together 15 plus years. She is very creative, but on the other hand, she is very stable. She's very grounded while I'm like a butterfly. He's got a wonderful spirit about him. He loves and puts in 150% into everything that he does. Frank is from those seafood gurus in Australia. His knowledge is phenomenal. This is someone that cares and cares about his product. He cares where it's sourced. He cares how it's processed. It's very important for us to know where our produce comes from, if it's imported or local, to be able to walk into the markets in the morning, be able to sense it with your hands, being able to smell the fish and being connected to it. The, the trout dish is so simple, but at the same time, it is so delicious. It is a rainbow trout that we butterfly them, give them a beautiful rub of a muhammad, that's a 
capsicum, walnut, and a pomegranate spread. We flip it and bake it in the wood fire oven with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. There's something about timber where you have not as much control over it, it has more control over you. You have to have some form of skill and cooking with instinct. We char some spring onion and then it comes out and you squeeze a lot of lemon juice and olive oil on top of that. It is magical, delicious, simple, clean, but it's healthy eating that has a background to it. My food, yes, it's Middle Eastern food. It's very influenced by my growing up, but then I had to as well translate it. Give it a connection to Australia, because otherwise you're actually bringing food that is it's not connected to the people. People that dine with us, one of the things that I like to hear the most is that they feel home that they feel that they have been in the Middle East for a day or for two hours. Michael Prekepos to Michael now, he is a totally different person. He's not afraid of new things. He's got a million ideas racing around. He's warm, vibrant. The thrill of working in a kitchen is that kitchen is a very interesting working environment. It's a hot space, it's a very temperamental space, but then there is magic. 10 people can get together without actually talking and they can bring things in a perfect timing to a table. And then there is an immediate satisfaction. There's immediate joy. There's noise of people laughing. and It's a two hour escape from their normal life. This is where they are gonna be happy. <laughs>